liners and the pistons of mod pump are friction pairs. Through the reciprocating motion of the piston and the liner, the high temperature and high pressure mud containing acid, alkali, and silt is continuously suctioned and discharged. Although both liners and pistons are consumables, but because the pistons are rubber parts, compared to liners made of more superior wear resistant steel and ceramic material, the surface life of pistons is shorter. It's often asynchronous when replacing the liners and pistons. It is sometimes only necessary to replace the pistons without replacing the liners. In order to improve the surface life of pistons, piston rods are generally made into one piece. In order to reduce the size of mud pumps, the liner compartment is very compact. To replace the piston, the liner needs to be removed as well. This takes a very long time to replace the pistons and also affects the original installation accuracy of liner. Therefore, a quick change tool is needed to remove the pistons separately without removing the liners. HH quick change tool for piston rod system can change the piston without removing the liner. It can also guarantee the alignment of the pistons and the liners, and it does not affect the surface life of the pistons. It does not increase the length of the liner compartment and the weight of the mud pump either. Most quick change tools for pistons on the market are not able to achieve this. Piston installation. Connect the piston rod connecting tool with the front part of the two-piece piston rod. Connect the piston rod connecting tool with the pony rod to align them together. A rope is needed. Connect the piston rod connecting tool with the pony rod using the rod clamp tool. Tighten the knot with a pneumatic wrench. Clean and lubricate the piston. Clean and lubricate the liner inner hole. Rotate the pump and install the piston into the liner inner hole. Because of the good alignment capability of the tool, the piston can accurately align with the center of the liner the piston will not be damaged and smoothly enter the liner inner hole. Stop it when the hexagonal surface of the piston rod levels with the rear end surface of the liner. Disassemble the rod clamp tool, then turn the pump to place the pony rod in the rear position. Disassemble the piston rod connecting tool. Clean the matching surface of the front part of the piston rod Remove the form objects that affect the precision of the match. Clean the matching surface of the rear part of the piston rod. Connect the front part with the rear part of the piston rod manually. Using a wrench to rotate the front part and the rear part to align the plane and center the threaded hole. Position the spring washer and the screw in the hole, tighten the screw with the pneumatic wrench. Clean the matching surface of the piston rod and the pony rod. Turn the pump to place the pony rod in the front position. Because of the good alignment capability of the pony rod, the pony rod can connect with the piston rod easily. Connect the piston rod with the pony rod using the rod clamp. Tighten the knot with a pneumatic wrench and the piston is installed successfully. Reverse the steps of installing to disassemble with the liner in place. 
Remove the rod clamp, then connect the pony rod in the rear part of the piston. Remove the screw and the spring washer that can prevent the rotation of the front part and the rear part of the piston. Turn the pump to place the pony rod in the rear position. Separate the front part and the rear part of the piston rod easily with a wrench. Remove the rear part of the piston rod manually. Connect the piston rod connecting tool with the front part of the piston rod. Turn the pump to place the pony rod in the front position. Because of the good alignment capability of the pony rod, the pony rod can connect with the piston rod connecting tool easily. Then connect the piston rod connecting tool with the pony rod using the rod clamp tool. Turn the pump and remove the piston from the liner. Using a chain hoist and the rope to hand the piston, the front part of the piston rod and the piston rod connecting tool to prevent this part from dropping into the liner compartment after removing the piston rod connecting tool. Loosen the piston rod connecting tool with a pneumatic wrench, the piston can be removed smoothly at this time.